Oh, we probably on, don't have time for this. We got go plenty, Caitlin. We'll make it. Now we're going to drop into a squat. Back to your quick feet. Big reach up overhead. And you're going to keep those two movements going. Clouds are parting and the flowers full bloom. Now I love my life and I got stuff to do. And I'm going to keep on moving. Everything will be just fine. You know what? The, the sign keeps going. What could you do with what could you do with a hundred thousand dollars, Andre? Go back to school. Go back to school and do your work. But um, I have another zero because the Craig H. Nielsen Foundation is awarding you, gifting you a one million dollar prize. Rotate that tailbone under and reach high and then reach over and kind of rotating and reaching. We really feel that stretch all the way from that lower leg, all the way up into that lower back. For Mazda's 100th anniversary, they are celebrating 50 hometown heroes. Come on in, come on in. <laughs> Kyrie, I, I think you recognize some of these people. Dr. Solis, transplant surgeon, there's Ray, the patient transporter. Yes, there's Stacy. And there is Katie. <laughs> All the kids here are getting a Halloween because of you, so I need you to look up at what we have going at your hospital. The kids have been able to come out of their room. As a kid, Andrea Dalzell was a force of nature. Andrea did things that I don't think any other child did. She was vivacious, bouncy, she was always on the go, she never stopped moving. But at five years old, her life changed forever when she was diagnosed with transverse myelitis, a neurological disorder affecting her ability to walk. First, I thought it was just a little minor mishap that she had gotten, but it was very devastating. I think I went completely numb. I blamed myself. I thought I didn't do something right. I thought there was something I could have done different that would have allowed her to walk. I stood outside the door and I promised myself I wouldn't do this, but I've never allowed her to see me cry. That was the most important thing for me. First time parents, Sharon and Trevor, were devastated, learning their daughter would never walk again. She grew from five years old to 50 years old. She was like, mom, don't worry, I'll be fine. She was assuring me that she was going to be fun. I became the child and she became the mother. But with determination and dedication, nine, eight, Andrea excelled in every aspect of her life, graduating with honors and receiving several major awards for her advocacy work and leadership. My sister has been everything to me since I was small. So when I think of her, I just think of the ambitious person that she is, the go-getter, that drive. Heroic. She is always been there for me my darkest times my bad times and my happy times she's just extremely hard working the brooklyn native now applying her ambition to a career in medicine she got so much pushback on becoming a nurse it was amazing that she didn't drop out of the class no you can't do it she's like just watch me give me a chance to prove myself andrea Valzel. And she did, becoming a registered nurse in 2018 and finishing her bachelor degree that same year. When the pandemic hit, Andrea decided she had to help. They hired her on the spot. She went, she did the best job she could possibly ever do. They all loved her. I was so excited for her. Now she's a different kind of frontline worker, a nurse and department head for a local school. She's not only extraordinarily professional and, and smart and good at what she does, but also very approachable. And the kids absolutely love her. The reason why I like Miss Andrea is she's nice, helpful. Nurse Andrea is sweet and kind and she's loving. We love you, Miss Andrea. It's the newest way to transform your wardrobe without leaving your home. These virtual fitting rooms allowing shoppers to change outfits with a click of a button, eliminating the need to shop in person. This is pretty cute, actually. I like how it fits on me. Zekit is an app where shoppers can see what they might look like in a variety of different outfits. The company introducing us to Jesse. It's just super quick, super fast, and I know exactly how it's going to look on me. This just kind of gave me like an extra confidence boost. 
Here's how it works. Shoppers can either upload pictures of themselves to be measured, or they can choose a model on the app that most resembles them. Then the app allows you to try on outfits and filter your selection with your favorite brands like Nike and H&M. But if you're looking for a more tailored fit, you can go in person for a one-time fitting with another company, FitMatch. I was just really interested in the fact that it was accurately track my measurements without me having to be in real contact with anyone. This platform works a little differently. Shoppers register online, create a profile, and come in person to this fitting room. In seconds, the camera provides 150 measurements. The information is added to your profile, and FitMatch says they only match you with items they believe will be a perfect fit from their large selection of partnered brands. We take into account fabric composition and detailed measurements of that garment. So we take a lot of the guesswork out of the equation for the shopper. The global virtual fitting room market is projected to reach $10 billion by 2027, but security should always be a concern when giving up personal information about yourself online. My advice for consumers that want to use these apps, do your homework, research the company if you don't know who the company is, read that privacy policy. Zekit and Fitmatch tell us they never share data with third parties. What we do is we provide information to brands that help them market to you better. These companies working to make your shopping sprees from home a little easier.